Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm doing a video similar to my previous one that I did on an ultralight cook set using a gas system, but this is using a new ultralight alcohol stove system. So I've been sent a couple of items from Outdoor Gear Essentials. Uh, one is the Des Catties stove which is basically very, very similar to the stove I've been using recently, which I made myself out of a, um, a shoe polish tin, uh, which has some metal gauze in it and some kind of a material inside that is non-flammable, but will hold the liquid and burn it. Um, and then also this ultralight Lixada titanium windshield and pot stand. Fantastic piece of equipment. I'll put these together and I'll show you how it works. So essentially how this works, these two pieces are clipped together, fold in on each other and clip on these two little um, metal parts that poke out. That then gives you a windshield and a stand to put your stove on. Now it does depend on the size of the stove that you've got. My 750ml pot doesn't quite fit on there, but I'll show you what I do. The disc caddy stove unscrews, so you fill it with uh, with alcohol, meths, whatever you want to use, um, and you light it. Now, when it's going, you can blow it out at any point, and then just pop the cap back on, keep the fuel inside, or you can let it run out. But it does mean you can extinguish it straight away, which is uh, can be a bit painful on some alcohol stoves, but this works really, really well. Now, if you already have one of my tables, or you have a Cascade Wild, or something similar, made of Corex, um, obviously you've got to be careful with the heat, um, I have quite simply a uh, piece of um, baking tray foil folded over twice and that does the job fine. So I'm going to boil about 500 ml of water and I'll time it to see how, how quick it is. I'm not into high speed stuff, I'm not really worried about that. But just to give you an indication of the efficiency of it, with this windshield. Okay, that's the stove of light. Now, as I say, my pot is too small to go on there. So I have these little aluminium stakes. You can use tent pegs or whatever you want to use and I just drop them across. Yeah, you need two, but I'll pop three on there. Okay, so that's 500 ml of water. Stop watch going. Okay, so that is a rolling boil now. Uh, just over nine minutes. So it's not the quickest, but it's an alcohol stove, so it's not going to be. There you go, blow it out. As you can see, slightly warm table, no damage at all. A little bit of foil saves the day. So I blew this out literally. 30 seconds ago. This is already cold completely. Don't know about the stove. Not too bad. So it cools down pretty quick as well, which is always handy. So this stove on its own weighs 22 grams. That is it. Tiny lightweight you can put it in your pocket. It's fantastic. Simple ideas, generally the best. The windshield on its own weighs 19 grams. Combine everything here with the pot all together, it's 181 grams. That's everything inside. So all you need to do is add fuel. You can get a smaller pot, get a 450 mil, you don't need a 750, and you'll save yourself probably 50, 60 grams on top of that as well. Okay, so another little adaptation to my cook set that I've made. Um, involves my table. So you may have seen this on previous videos. 
Um, this is available for sale um, on Outdoor Gear Essentials website. Um, slightly different, got these small stickers go in the corner. Um, what I wanted was a windshield that fitted on this and it was stable and solid because it's a smooth surface. The wind starts to blow it about a bit and I've practiced and you know tested several different types that haven't really worked. So I'll come up with a solution that hopefully you'll like. I'll show you. Right now I'm sure you've all seen these little windshields that you can get off of AliExpress or Amazon or anywhere. Pretty much everyone's got them. And um, what they tend to have is about nine plates so they go all the way around the big cook set. I wanted something that was very, very light and that suited the table. Now, the problem with these is you only get one of these little skewers at each end and they're designed to just sort of push into grass, into the ground, so it, it holds it a bit more stable. The problem is the back end of it flaps about. So I've been in contact with the company and I've redesigned one that works with my little sticker on it um, and that works with the heat as well. And what we do basically is have a skewer on each end and then one in the center to give it stability and shape. And that just fits on my table and the skewers pop through little holes, pre-made or you can make them yourself, um, to position it wherever you want on the table. I'll show you what it looks like set up. Okay, so there it is. Nothing new, windshield. Everyone's seen these, most people have got them. But this one sits on the table. One skewer goes through a hole there, one skewer through a hole there, one skewer through a hole there. Um, because of the stability of this table and the weight that it can take, this will take a gas cooker in the centre here or your um, alcohol stove, transier, whatever you want to use. It will sit in here um, and give you protection from the wind. Also, this is incredibly stable. It's not going to fall off. It's not going to blow anywhere. You can basically hold it upside down. Um, it won't go anywhere. There is an idea that um, someone mentioned as a possibility in extreme winds, which I don't think you're going to be cooking in extreme winds, you'll probably be in the vestibule of your tent, um, is, and you can do this yourself, is if you pop a hole through here, and put a tent skewer through it, tent peg, through it into the ground, one on each side facing the wind, this table's going to go nowhere. The windshield's going to go nowhere. I don't see this table ever blowing over when you've got stuff on it, but positioned like this, essentially it gives you space to cook, space to have your drink your coffee um, or chop and prepare food whatever you want to do so this is also limited availability on outdoor gear essentials website so you can buy this and the table or if you've already got a table you can just purchase this depending upon how well it sells um, we make it some more in so i make these send them off to cole he then sells them on the website so if you're interested uh, get in touch with Outdoor Gear Essentials. Put a link in the website in the uh, comments below for the website. Um, and these are available, but there's only a few, very, very few, if you want one. It's already pre-designed and fits with these uh, additional skewers to go on your either existing Novice World Camper table um, or Cascade or whatever you've got. So have a look and, um, yeah, get them while you can. Now, I know we don't like to carry loads of stuff around, extra weight, extra space, etc. Um, and with my table being very slim um, and just fits in the back of your bag, down the side of it. You don't want to make it any bigger. So having this uh, windshield, the size that I've got it with just four panels, it literally fits in between the legs. It makes no difference whatsoever to the size or shape of it. So the table weighs 73 grams. I think the windshield weighs 60 something grams as well. So for the sake of 130 grams, you've got a table and a windshield all in one, one neat little package.